This morning, I woke up to the news that there had been yet another mass shooting in the United States, but this one was different because it was basically in my backyard. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Dara and I am an American who lives in Texas part of the year and Gloucestershire, England part of the year. And right now I'm in Gloucestershire and as I said, I woke up this morning, Sunday, May 7th, to my phone having all these text messages on it from friends back in Texas telling me and sharing the news of this mass shooting in a shopping mall, the Allen Premium Outlet Mall, which is a mall I've shopped at many times in a safe, relatively affluent suburb of the Dallas area. Um, it's a premium outlet mall. It has nice stores in it with nice stuff and nice people go shop there. And it's not a place you would expect to be gunned down. But yesterday, about the time that I was going to sleep here in England after a very festive coronation day, um, a shooter drove to the outlet mall, got out of his car wearing body armor and having an automatic rifle in his hands and extra magazines strapped to his person and opened fire on shoppers in this mall. Um, it's still very early in the news story on this and it's an active investigation and so very little details are um, are available as of yet about the shooter and the victims and all that but nine people are dead, including the shooter, and the eight victims and the many other people injured. I've, I've read that the youngest person injured was a five-year-old. So it's children, it's families who were just there shopping and uh, were gunned down. And it's so shocking, it's so horrifying, so, and it's so close to home. And so I just felt like I needed to make this video today this is a big exception for me. Um, for those of you who have watched my videos before and are familiar with my channel know I am not here to be political. That's not what this channel is about. I am here to talk about Britain and to talk about British and US culture, but I avoid talking about political things because I just don't want to open myself up to that vitriol that happens when issues like guns are discussed. I, I want to have nice, pleasant conversations about cute animals and delicious food and beautiful scenery and beautiful architecture, and maybe have some lighthearted, fun conversations about British versus American culture. But there's another side to that. There's a very serious side to British versus American culture that I carry with me all the time. I just don't talk about it on my channel. So. I also don't do YouTube on Sundays usually, so I don't film, I don't edit, and I rarely even comment on um, videos or reply to video, uh, video comments on Sunday, but I'm making an exception today for this, and I'm gonna film this video, and I'm gonna post it, and my intent is to turn off comments because I don't wanna have a discussion about this. I just want to share my point of view for those of you who want to hear it from an American, someone who's lived in Texas for the last 30 years, share a little bit about my experience. If you're interested, great, listen. If you um, have sympathy, if you agree with anything I'm saying, hit the thumbs up button. If you disagree with me, if you think I'm some bloody liberal that doesn't know what I'm talking about and you hate everything I'm saying, hit the thumbs down. But I don't really want to have comments um, about it because it's not something that I want to discuss on my channel and open up that contentious dialogue. It's not really uh, what I'm all about. But I did want to, for those of you who are interested, share with you my thoughts on this matter. Um, I grew up in Illinois. I've lived in various parts of the US. I've lived on the East Coast. I've lived on the West Coast. I lived in California for nine years. And for the last 30 years, I have lived in Texas. Um, I feel like I've been a conservative voter most of my life. And on some issues, I am still very conservative. 
but there are two issues that both Ian and I have become particularly passionate about the last several years as we've seen the way things have changed in the United States. So one of those is guns. And I'm not gonna get into all the statistics about gun violence in America. The fact that it's the beginning of May and we've had about 200 mass shootings in the US this year alone, I think that speaks for itself, but <laughs> speaks for itself, but there's so much additional information that gets to the size and scope and scale and the increase in this epidemic of gun violence that I find very, very disturbing. And I'm not a very political person. I am not an activist. I haven't been my entire life that I've been more apolitical, but this has become such an emotional issue for me that I did start taking action several years ago. So there is a, an organization in the US called Moms Demand Action, which was formed by a woman named Shannon Watts after the Sandy Hook massacre of dozens of five-year-olds who were just in their kindergarten at school. Um, after that happened, she started this group and it now has a very strong following across the US in all of the states. And so several years ago, I personally became involved when in Dallas, there was a massacre of police officers, when civilians gunned down police officers who were in the street just there uh, to protect the public. And I thought, wow, this is unbelievable how much bad things like this keep happening. And since that was several years ago. And since then, the problem's just gotten worse and worse and worse. And why? Because the gun laws have gotten more and more and more lax. And speaking for myself specifically, I feel like there should be background checks. I feel like there should be permits. Um, I mean, I know it's an analogy that's said all the time, but honestly, if you want to drive a motor vehicle, you have to take a test, you have to get a license. Why do we allow people to just buy guns without those things, without background checks? Um, I have lots of friends who own guns. I have family members who own guns. I have no problem with people owning guns if they are law-abiding, responsible citizens who have guns for a good reason. I personally don't want to own a firearm or even learn how to use one because that's not of interest to me, but I'm fine with other people doing that. What I'm not fine with is us having gun laws that are so ridiculously lenient. Um, last month or about a month ago in March, I went to Austin, Texas, the capital of Texas, to lobby lawmakers with Moms Demand Action and Every Town and a host of other gun violence prevention organizations to lobby lawmakers about having more sensible gun laws to promote gun safety and to stem this epidemic of gun violence. And we're asking for simple things like automatic rifles, Let's raise the age that people can buy automatic rifles from 18 to 21. I don't think that's too much to ask. It was an automatic rifle that was used in this latest mass shooting in Allen and so many of them. I'm fine with people having the right to own guns for their own protection or for hunting or sports or whatever, but we have to do something as a country to stem this trend. The other issue that Ian and I have felt passionately about the last several years is climate change. And that's another one where, even though we have not been very politically active in the past, Ian has really taken on the lead in, um, in our family of being involved in climate change activism. And Ian and I did go to Austin again in the last several weeks and lobbied lawmakers about climate change because there are just simple laws that we can enact that will help us promote activities that will limit 
climate change rather than accelerate it. And it makes me sad, just comparing the US and the UK for a minute here, it makes me sad that climate change, which is about science, it's not about politics. The fact that so many people in the US want to deny that it's happening and therefore don't want to do anything about it. I feel like where we live in North Texas is kind of this little bubble where, yeah, we might be protected from the worst effects of climate change right now, but so many parts of the world are seeing dramatic changes in their living situations, their livelihoods, their health because of climate change. So I do struggle. I do struggle with both of these issues in the U.S. And to be really, really honest with you, I kind of enjoy the fact that when I come to the U.K., I can take a break from the heavy burden of worrying about these issues and feeling like I'm the only one in my community that cares about gun violence, that cares about climate change. Because here in the UK, I feel like people feel a lot more the way I do. And I am not as worried about gun violence happening in any random place on any day. I mean, nothing is sacred, right? It started off in high school and Columbine and then a movie theater. And then it's just escalated from there, all of the, the school shootings and the mall shootings and the grocery stores and the churches and the synagogues and the parties, the graduation parties. I mean, every day the news seems to be full of another mass shooting. But you know what? Gun violence is so much more than these mass shootings. That's what gets the headlines. That's what gets all the attention. But the problem is so much bigger than that because what's literally happening every day, every hour is people dying by gun violence from intimate partners turning on uh, on their former partner. And usually, you know, your ex ex-husband, ex-boyfriend going and shooting their former girlfriend or wife or whatever, and children being mowed down in the same way. It is so disturbing. And the suicide problem also has escalated in particular in recent years. And it is just so staggering the numbers of people that die by these homicides and suicides involving guns on a daily basis in the United States of America. So I'm going to get back to my usual content. You know, tomorrow I will be editing a video about walking in the woods and looking at bluebells. And last Friday, my video about Ledbury, Herefordshire is a beautiful travel vlog, which I hope you watch. So I hope you don't unsubscribe to my channel because I talked about these issues. But if you do, I'm okay with that because I'm just here to share my experience as an American living in the US, living in the UK, and talking about things I love and happy things most of the time. But sometimes in life, there are sad things that need to be talked about as well. So for those of you who have stayed till this point in the video, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my channel on all the videos where I talk about happy and pleasant things. I look forward to interacting with you in the comments on those videos again soon. Again, thank you so much for watching and do something good in the world today.